Hello and welcome everyone to Easy Steps. Today I'm going to be showing you my Lincoln Navigator. The problem I have right now is the check engine light is on. And I plugged in my OBD2 scanner. The code that shows up is P0303. And this code is for a misfire specifically at cylinder number three. So I'm going to be showing you how to fix this issue and how to fix the rough idling and shaking that I am having while the car is on. So let's get started. So after checking our codes, make sure that your car is cool enough so you can handle it. So I would say at least three, four hours, let it cool down because it's very important. It's a safety is the number one important thing in a life. You don't want it to burn yourself. Once the car is cooled down, now we're going to open the cover. We're going to open it and I will share with you the other steps. I'm going to share with you that how you open it. This is a really tricky and this is a, just a DIY project. If personally you are doing, as I always mention in my previous videos, I'm not a mechanic or anything. I just do the things. Doing the things give me a pleasure, enjoyment, and also I save money. I do the enhancement to prolong the life of the car. In this case, as uh, shown to you that uh, misfiring cylinder three, which is uh, the spark plug three, and this is very hard to remove it. What exactly I'm doing is really not easy or fun job, but if you're a DIY person and you need a kickstart, this is what you need to do. Not exactly the steps if you follow and that gives you the same results. Those are my way of doing it. You can do it better or you can follow the same steps what I'm doing. What I did, I removed the coolant line This one is uh, right here. I just remove one small screw and just take it out so it can be easier for me. The other things I have done, these are the cables going on each coil. I just removed it. And this is a very important. These are the screws. These are the long screws and this one takes a 7 mm socket. It's really hard to work with. You just can press it. I remove this one, the screw and remove the wire. And you heard little noise that's the snapping of uh, the coil out of the spark plug so now it's getting tangled in the wire so we have to be just careful so this is how it looks and look at how dirty and it could be the reason that the oil leak and it causing a problem failure so I'm just gonna clean it at this point uh, the way I'm doing I'm doing the troubleshooting so that way I know that why maybe it could be only a small thing that uh, the oil went inside and causing a misfiring. So what I have done, I have removed also number two. So this is the number two. This is number three. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to swap these. Two into three and three into two. I'm going to start it and I will see if the cold disappear. That means maybe that the oil has a little problem. But in case if the cord shifted to misfiring cylinder 2, that means I know for sure that this coil is bad. Or if the cord stays, it's a number 3. That means my spark plug has gone bad. I do have purchased already the spark plugs. But before I was going to change it, I just wanted to make sure what caused the really problem. So in case if you were having a misfiring cylinder 3, what could be the cause? So um, I hope this video is going to help you out. What I'm going to do is swap and put it back and I will see the code and I'll share. I put together everything. I put it back the coils. I screwed back in. Put the pipes back. One thing I would suggest is that even though it's a broad daylight, it's a sunny day, but when you're working in the car, you need some kind of light so you can see it. Because when you're opening these clips, I can show it to you like this clip. See that clip right there, you need to press it in order to open it. When you press it, then you pull it. So if you don't have a light, then it's hard to see it. The same scenario that the coil has a, these are black ones. If you look at this is the front end and this is the back end. So you need to press it and then you open it. So I would suggest that you need a working light. That will make life much easier. And now we're going to go for a drive. Uh, we're going to put the cover on. So now we are back from our test run and I've plugged in the scanner and I'm going to scan for codes. 
And once I do that, as you can see, there are zero codes. And now if I unplug the scanner and turn the car on, as you can see, there is no check engine light on. We drove about a half an hour. We went to freeway. We went up in the hills. And I would say 20, 25 miles we drove. And now we came back, we tested the cords. As you've seen the cords, there are zero cords, nothing. So what exactly happened? It was a small fix as I showed it to you. I really don't have to change the spark plugs. What exactly happened? That I don't know how did it happen, but I can speculate. With the, you know, maybe there a jump or something, the coil get loose from spark plug and that intermittent signal that was a misfiring and the code came up as a coil 3 is misfiring so what we did basically swap it taking coil 2 out changing to coil 3 and coil 3 to 2 and now the codes are clear this fix is not going to fix your problem for everyone but it could be a potential solution for you guys you can easily fix it yourself. I know it's really hard to do it, but if you have a will, there is a way. So I really appreciate for joining Easy Steps for repairing and changing your coil or changing your spark plug on your Lincoln Navigator. And like always, I really appreciate for subscribing Easy Steps. If you like the video, give me a like, and subscribe and if you don't like to subscribe that is awesome too it help you your life that also gives me satisfaction so thank you either way i'm going to see you soon with the new things new diy projects have a good day bye bye